Kerberos is not the only game in town. There are other authentication systems. One is for use in Europe. It's called Sesame, Secure European System for Applications in a Multi-Vendor Environment. That again is quite a mouthful. Some of the differences between Sesame and Kerberos is that Sesame uses public key cryptography to distribute secret keys. Now you recall that Kerberos uses symmetric key cryptography. Public key cryptography is in use whenever there's a public key and a private key. Again, the whole concept of public versus private keys is out of the scope of this particular session, but it's a different type of mechanism in which we have two keys to exchange. We have a private key that is not exchanged and the public key which can be easily exchanged between different components. The mechanism that Sesame uses to exchange information, very similar to the Kerberos ticket, is called a Privileged Attribute Certificate. This contains the necessary key information and the authentication package that's passed back and forth between the authentication server, the subject, and the object. Very similar implementation to Kerberos, but again, using slightly different mechanisms, and this system was designed by European organizations to be used in Europe.